<laughs> All right, let's talk about one of the best updates yet for the Oculus Quest. they've rolled out update 28 which i think is my favorite so far just because of air link and 120 hertz which 120 isn't supported with games yet but it's still badass i've always wanted to use virtual desktop smoothly with the quest for streaming but i had issues with latency and lag not sure what it was but i could never get it to run smoothly while i was streaming so i just gave up and used the link cable anyways i even cleared off my gangster ass router that i spent an arm and a leg on but it still didn't work I used virtual desktop when I wasn't streaming because it's great and that's what I prefer. Just didn't play well for streaming in my situation, I guess. Also being that I love playing Population 1 and using my Oculus account, I needed to use Revive so that I could use that account through Steam and be able to see chat, but it never played right and the climbing was just wacky. I know I could play the Steam version, but I've spent way too much money on the Oculus one, so it's kind of at the point of no return right now. So let's talk about Airlink. It's hands down the best method to use if you seem to be in the situation that I am with streaming or just want to be wireless in general. The reason why I love it so much is that I'm still able to use the Oculus Mirror.exe for capturing video, which is the best, and have access to the Quest Home and dashboard wirelessly like you would with the Link cable. It's freaking awesome. I like having the ability to capture everything that I'm seeing in the headset with the EXE file so that you as a viewer can see what I'm seeing exactly. And also being able to pin the chat into game whereas virtual desktop, you can't access the Oculus Home and you can't use the EXE. You can only do game capture in OBS unless you're going through Steam, you could just use the display VR view. It's also extremely easy to use AirLink, which so is virtual desktop, but it's just a smaller process to get it up. <laughs> I mean, started up with Link. Whatever. I did my first two hour stream with Airlink on YouTube the other day and everything seemed to run perfectly fine with no lag or latency issues. It was amazing. Just being cordless is amazing in general anyways. You have to have a five gigahertz router, which I think most are nowadays. So I would recommend clearing everything off of five and putting it on 2.4. If you can do so, it will give you the most potential out of your five gigahertz so things aren't using it or when you're using Airlink. Also try to be in the same room as your router and have your computer hooked in hard. If it's in the other room, run that <laughs> all the way. <laughs> and then just play in the room where the router is at. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it is an option but I, I'm just kidding. It's very easy to use. Just navigate to the Oculus app on the computer, go to settings, beta tab, then turn AirLink on at the bottom. You'll have to do this every time because it auto turns off when it's not in use for 24 hours, I believe. Then throw your headset on and navigate to settings, experimental features, turn on AirLink, and then go to the quick actions like you would with the link cable to select AirLink and you're in business. You'll now be in the Oculus dashboard where you can pin windows, access the computer, launch your Oculus games, and use Steam VR. It's great. <laughs> I love the Oculus dashboard and the home. It's awesome. I was reading on Reddit the other day that people were having issues with audio in game, but you want to make sure that in your control panel settings on the computer that the Oculus inputs and outputs are selected. If it's still not working, try resetting the headset and the app on the computer. And once you've changed those settings and then open AirLink back up again, and hopefully that works. But that's it for me guys. I just wanted to make a vid talking about AirLink because I love it so far. It sucks that Facebook is shady in a way and it's kind of hurting virtual desktop, but I don't think it's going away. If that's what you use currently, just stick with doing virtual desktop. But as a streamer, I would recommend using AirLink. It's freaking awesome. If you guys run into any issues, just drop a comment down below and I'll try to help you out the best I can. Or if you have a tip that isn't mentioned here, I will pin it to the channel so people can read your awesome comment. I stream now on YouTube instead of Twitch because it makes it easier to keep things all in one place. So come hang out sometime. Just hit that bell to be notified and yeah, peace out guys. <laughs>